Okay, we left our Laughlin, Nevada, and looking for a spot for the night. The camp got a free spot off the road of Highway 8 here in Arizona. We like a spot up in there. I see one van there, so probably we're gonna go up in there and roam around and see what we find. And like we say, if we can get it on big bikes, you can get here too. We go up in here, gravel, watch how you ride, nice and slow. And I'm pulling patches, so let's go see what look back here look like. We're gonna fire your pit right there with his camp thing. Where are you, man? Where are you? According to um, the GPS, we not at the spot yet, so I'm gonna come out. Copy that. Coming out. It's a big circle right here, and I like it, but it's kind of close to the freeway. So I'm coming out and turning right. What's going on? Okay. Okay. Continuing on down this road. As you all can see, it's gravel. Cake behind me. And there was one van over there. Just going to see if we could find a better spot. Maybe a little bit more privacy. And I'm riding on a gravel in second gear, even though I'm going slow, riding in the friction zone. You know, we always talk about which gear you ride in, but what if your hand slip off it while you're in gravel and it might take off? Okay, I see another spot here to the left. Slow down. Uh, that don't look too promising, kind of thick gravel right there. I see another one to the left up here, so let me go up here. Okay, baby, I'm gonna just I'm gonna stop right here and walk down there. Okay, I see a BLM sign down there, so I'm gonna go a little further down. And when we talk about BLM, we talk about Bureau of Land Management. I see the sign down there, so I'm gonna go a little further down and see what we look like. Okay, I see a little track I can ride in with less gravel. There we go. And sometimes the faster you ride on the gravel, the less it is will mess with your bike. As long as you don't have no washboard. And I'm going to look at this sign down here and see what they say about camping over here. So this will be a free spot. I think we're going to stay here two nights. Tonight going to just be a relaxed night. Tomorrow we're probably going to ride out. Go hit some of the mountains in the area. Okay, I think D sign may be telling us it's private property. You still hear me? Travel caution. Smuggling, illegal immigration. <laughs> oh, bad. We're talking about smuggling and illegal immigration. Okay, stand back there and wait for me to go check this out before we commit to this area. Go see what it says. And if there's any area that we can, uh, okay, over here. I see a fire ring over here to the left. Travel caution, smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area. Now that don't sound too promising. But this is Bureau of Land Management. And it's absolutely free, but I don't know if we ought to camp where smugglers are bringing in illegal immigrants in here. Talking about spitting the night bus. Can you hear me? Oh. Right. 
thing clicked on, so I thought that was key. Visit information updates. Go look at this. We might be going back to that guy with the van because our bikes I mean I get over this right here. Active federal law enforcement patrol area, clean up and restoration crew. Contact BM New English for a current status. Yeah. Probably where Cake is down there where we're gonna be for the night because back here it looks like it's getting worse. Worse. Bike is way over there. Oh, I left the keys on the bike. That's a bad move. Could read this last sign. Oh, got a lot of spots here. But don't look like it's good for motorcycle camping. Let's see what this sign says. Welcome to the Sonoran Desert National Monument. Talk about the monument, 26 miles of hiking trail, 400 miles of driving road, motorized vehicle, all-terrain vehicle, ATV, excuse me, Next move there. Okay, I don't see anything about camping, but we are up in this area. So, most likely, it's gonna be a one-nighter for us if we actually stay here. We know of a couple of areas that are free. So if we stay here, most likely it's gonna be and it's further down where cake is because I don't want to bring it all the way out here. And we can't get over this berm right here. Look like I can get over to the left up here. But that's kind of sketchy too. Cake, you still hear me? She's not answering. So now I gotta turn this thing around and it's gravel. Well, your slow skills come in handy. But to be honest with you, I'm going to duck walk it around because of this trailer that I have. I don't want to take no chances if I drop it on this. I will not be able to get footing to lift it. Okay, you copy? This is a good spot here. I can get over there. I don't want to stay two nights here though. One free night. Oh, okay. Like a big dip back here. Which means, let me go get my uh, keys off the bike. That big dip back there just basically means we don't have to worry about nobody coming, but <laughs> that smuggler sign is not too reassuring. Then we have to go a little further or back where we saw. I think it was Fremont Road. Camping a little further down back, about 10 miles back. I'll talk to my baby and find out. Okay, we decided not to stay at that campground, even though it was free because of the sign about smugglers. And we plan on going on a ride this afternoon and then going on a ride tomorrow because we're going to stay there two nights. And we didn't feel comfortable leaving patches there. And we come back and it's Smuggler living in it or is in Mexico or something like that. <laughs> and Cake just said, we got to get another microphone so you guys can hear her talk. But Cake just said she'd rather deal with a bear than a deal with smugglers messing with our campground. So we heading up, going on further, about 84 or uh, 93 miles, yeah, 93 miles to Tucson area and see if we find a campground there. If not, we're going to use one of our free nights in one of the hotels. Anyway. That's all we got for right now.